Hello family, um, this is going to be my first ever uh, music lesson on YouTube. My name is David Daniel Brown. This is an instrument I've been wanting to share some teachings about. Um, it's called a jaw harp, also called in Russian a vargon or a mouth harp. In Siberia and other parts of Russia, and there's a different kind that some, there's like some Indonesian, Thailand type jaw harps that are very different looking, but very, very similar effect. Um, of the drum and several other tools for like the Siberian shamans, uh, this is a tool they use in their, in their work for getting into a state of trance. And yeah, so this is, um, this bottom bar and this top bar are called the upper and the lower decks. This is the tongue. It wiggles. And um, yeah, this one has a particularly eight-pointed star. It's pretty awesome. It's got a really rich sound, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. And so what we're doing with this, this instrument is this tongue, we're lightly vibrating it. And it's this entire middle bar, the tongue, is vibrating. And that vibration vibrates in the chamber of your mouth, your throat, your chest, your gut. So, before I open up another big channel, <laughs> because sometimes it just wants to play itself, um, what you need to know about this instrument and how to play it is relatively simple. The main rhythm, there's, there's like several layers of things coming together that can create basically an infinite variety of rhythm and I'll explain how in a minute. So the main rhythm, before I even get to that, these upper and lower decks, so this is the, the protocols for how to play this instrument. This upper and this lower deck are gonna go against your teeth. Your teeth are not biting it. It's literally going against your teeth like so. So, okay, not over here, not over here, uh, not like that. So, without your lips touching it, it sounds like this. It's not the most potent resonance. So when you close your lips, it creates the chamber. <laughs> These two fingers, the middle finger and the pointer finger, are holding the upper and the lower deck against the teeth, as you can see. So they, these two fingers are pulling these vibrating upper and lower decks against the teeth. And then the thumb is about there. And the fingers are there. Okay, so that's how you hold it. Um, the vibrations from the upper, from the metal, are vibrating through your teeth, into your gum, through the root, and they're going into the pineal gland, and these vibrations are going straight to the pineal gland. So I've been told this instrument is decalcifying your pineal gland. I've also been told that this instrument is an extraterrestrial download. I mean, religion might be an extraterrestrial download. It's, it's, it's hard to explain much about how that might be the case. But nonetheless, 
this is the channel and uh, for those of you as you develop your connection to this instrument yeah it definitely opens a very strong channel and connection and trance you can trance yourself out <laughs> it's a very good meditation so anyways we're holding it against the teeth and we have a regular rhythm going one two one two one two one two so the first thing you can do is you can without using your voice box you can change your tongue inside your mouth from the different vowels like a e i o u so that was no voice it might sound like there's voice that's no voice I'm just moving my tongue to make the vowel so I would try to do that first just to get a sense of what does it feel like to move your tongue in your mouth while you're holding this against your teeth the whole process might feel a little weird for a moment but you'll get used to it and it's really natural actually okay so then you also have your um, your breath. You could do a simple exhale inhale pattern that, that goes like this. That's one of many breath rhythms. So there's the rhythm of the breath mixing with however I'm transitioning between the different vowels, mixed with whatever rhythm my finger is doing. You could do a, instead of a one, two, one, two, you could do a one, two, three, one, two, three. Part of that I was using my breath, part of that I was not. This is no breath, no inhale, exhale. This is with breath. Okay, so again, you combine whatever you're doing here on the tongue, whichever rhythm, which again, I'm using my pointer finger. You have the transition between all the five vowels and however many other vowels you can do, depending on which language you're speaking, and all the middle points between them, the points between the A and the E and the E and the I and the I and the O and the O and the U. Mixed with your breath, Man, that's already major, 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 major variety of rhythm that you can find. Um, and then you're also able to do other tricks. Um, like if I do one stroke, 
on this particular jaw harp, it vibrates for a really, really long time, so you could play with that. You can do that. The tongue flutter. So how I'm making that crazy sound that sounds like your atoms are vibrating, depending on how good the speaker is on this phone, that's, it's always good to sit playing upright. You can't really see my whole body, but like I'm sitting relatively upright when I play this instrument. The reason why is you want your diaphragm aligned because whether this instrument is vibrating up in your mouth, in your throat, in your chest, or down in your gut, it's really depending on being upright and allowing the throat and the chest to relax when you want the vibrations to go deeper, such as... Also, the breath work, there's this one where you go... Like, like kind of like a dog panting. It's quite the workout. It definitely gets your solar plexus and your lower abdomen working out. It's not quite a breath of fire, but it is beautiful uh, pumping of energy through the, the gut, through the solar plexus. So I don't want to overwhelm anyone playing the jaw harp with too much information, but if you practice the technique of holding it correctly, and it's okay, sometimes your, your palm's going to get sore, don't worry about it. You can always switch and try the other side. There's one last technique I will show. I just learned how to do it in a way that is freaking awesome whenever I'm sharing this instrument for sound healing. And it involves doing a pause. For those who play drums or flutes or other instruments, this, uh, other wind instruments, I mean, this instrument can open up major pathways for growth in your understanding and your ability to channel different rhythm because um, there's so many layers of complexity merging together and one of them is while you're playing you 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 stop the vibration by putting your finger back on here so it goes like this So anyways, that is a really cool technique. It's always nice to have a pause to bring in emptiness. It's easy on these to just get lost in the rhythm, 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 rhythm. But having some spaciousness, I like to do that in my drumming too. Um, so again, these instruments typically come with a case. <laughs> this is my first time doing this, so there's probably a lot of things I missed, um, including like how to care for this. I like to wipe it off when I'm done. Be mindful of not stroking it too hard because it can strike your lip and make your lip bleed. It can hit your teeth. You don't want that to happen. Um, it's not the end of the world. I've never chipped a tooth or anything like that. Um, but yeah, try practicing with the finger holding. Make sure you can do all the different vowel sounds. Try different rhythms with the finger. One, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, one, two, one, two, or any combination. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Or, uh, 
Talking, talking, triangle. Talking, talking, triangle. Talking, talking, triangle. This is a two, two, three. And since we're going, and I know people don't probably usually like long, long, long videos like this, <laughs> you can also say things without your voice box and it'll come through. Like I can say, Medicina. Curandera. So for those who want to add even another layer of complexity, aside from just doing the sound, you can actually say words. Some words it's hard to say because you need your lips and your lips aren't able to do it. Nonetheless, it translates most of the time, so try that. Um, if anyone wants to know where to get these, you can get some on Amazon. They might take two months to ship from Russia. There's also some other websites, so... Yeah, just Google Vargan, V-A-R-G-A-N, or Russian or Siberian mouth harps or jaw harps. Again, Amazon has some good ones. You want to pay at least 20 uh, probably like 60 or more dollars. You want to get a good quality one. You can pay 60 to 150 for a really, really, really good one. There's one called the Russian Star on Amazon. It's a little bit lower than this one. It's a little bit longer. And it's, it's like 80 bucks. It comes with a uh, wooden case, which is really important that they come with a case to protect them. Anyways, um, I hope for anyone who's considering getting a jaw harp, this is a really rudimentary, basic crash course in how to play it. And I'll probably upload some more videos of me playing it just to you know bring some inspiration of what's possible. <clears throat> but I absolutely love this instrument. Again, it's called the Vargan, the Russian jaw harp, mouth harp, Siberian jaw harp. Um, yeah, so enjoy playing. And yeah, I hope this video is helpful for anyone wanting to uh, learn how to play this instrument. Thank you. Much, much love to you all.